is a viral hemorrhagic disease like dengue fever and Ebola. It's caused by a virus transmitted by the Aedes mosquito, but only infected females can actually transmit the disease. It bites mostly during the day. Yellow fever occurs in tropical regions of the Americas and Africa. In around 80% of cases, the infection causes no or very mild symptoms, similar to those of the common flu or malaria. They usually disappear within a few days. In around 20% of cases, the disease is far more severe, and other symptoms develop. Jaundice, hence the name yellow fever, kidney disorders, bleeding, convulsions, and even coma. Between 25 and 50% of severely affected patients die. According to the World Health Organization, an estimated 30 to 60,000 people die of yellow fever every year. It's a difficult disease to diagnose, as the symptoms alone are not enough. A blood sample has to be taken and sent for testing at a specialist laboratory. Although the disease was discovered 90 years ago, there is still no treatment for the actual virus. Patients can only be helped to overcome the disease by treating the symptoms. So prevention is crucial. To reduce the risk of mosquito bites, effective personal protection is key. Vector control to combat the mosquitoes is also important. This includes getting rid of stagnant water, as this is where they lay their eggs, and spraying and fumigating insecticides to eradicate breeding sites and eliminate adult mosquitoes. Another means of prevention is vaccination. A vaccine was found long ago. Affordable, effective in almost 100% of cases, just one month after injecting a single dose, it provides lifelong protection. It's a tricky vaccine to produce. The virus is first injected into a fertilized chicken egg. The egg is then kept in an incubator for around three days, the time it takes for the virus to multiply. Then, the white of the egg, which at this point contains millions of vaccine viruses, is extracted from the egg. The virus is separated and rendered non-toxic. 100 to 300 doses of vaccine can be obtained from just one egg. A complex and relatively long process. And as demand for the vaccine is highly fluctuating, manufacturers do not produce very large quantities. This limited supply is problematic, as the vaccination of millions of people in Angola and Congo is putting considerable pressure on the global stockpile. A possible solution would be to reduce the size of the dose. A preliminary study on one of the vaccines showed that one-fifth of one dose still provides sufficient protection. But further studies are required to confirm that this method is truly effective.